Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we present you 50 beautiful retro historical photos. We hope you will appreciate our work. Write your comment and click the subscribe button. Enjoy the show and here we go. Morgan Fairchild is an American actress. She achieved her greatest success in the late 70s and 80s through roles as stylish and glamorous women in film and television. Photo 1976 Enchanting photo shoot of Gaynor Goodman in a beautiful outfit. K. Fancher, February 23, 1952. The latest episode of Minnesota Kodachrome's co stars Hubert's record collection, which includes the classics Accordiana and Larry Adler, Harmonica Virtuoso. Pittsburgh circa 1912. Pennsylvania Avenue and Joseph Horn Store. Detroit, Michigan, circa 1905. Cincinnati, Hamilton and Dayton Railroad Office, Woodward Jefferson Aves. Washington, D.C. And no caption, Girl with Doll, 1926 or 1927. Probably warning her about that McCarthy boy. July 1911. Street scene, Second Avenue, Asbury Park. Greetings from this pleasant setting for the ice wagon, streetcar, sandwich shop and resort hotels. October 1939. Five Idaho farmers, members of Ola Self Help Summer Co op, in the woods standing against a load of logs ready to go down to their mill about three miles away. Gem County, Idaho. December 1942. Checking electrical wiring assemblies for B 17F, Flying Fortress. Bombers at the Boeing plant in Seattle. Merchants Transfer Storage Company, Washington, D.C. In 1911, moving a boiler on D Street within sight of the Capitol with a 12-horse team. Bonus, many old billboards. Amy Frandel, March 2, 1952. The latest episode of Minnesota Kodachromes takes place at the kitchen table. The cake looks delicious, but we'll start with a slice of that cherry pie, please. Nineteen forty-four. Actress Lauren Bacall, three-quarters portrait, in houndstooth check jacket. circa 1910. Ford J. Mrs. Group, an outlier among Harris Hewing's generally sedate and sober studio portraits. Ford J. Mrs. Group, sequel to the whimsical Harris Hewing portrait.
February 1943. This image in a jacket marked killed dot from photos taken in and around Albuquerque, New Mexico. Washington, D.C., circa 1915. Purchase David E. A yard youngster and his mate at the Harris Ewing Portrait Studio. Not long before his life seems to have been cut tragically short in a traffic accident. February 28, 1952 Maureen. Whose husband, Leslie. Washington, D.C., circa 1915. Miss Elizabeth Clem, daughter of Major General John L. Clem, famed in Grand Army circles as the drummer boy of Chickamauga. January 1937. Deerfield, Florida. Migrant agricultural worker from Oklahoma. Nineteen ten, Forsyth Street, looking east. Our twentieth large format, high resolution view of Jacksonville, Florida. Washington, D.C., CA 1913. Hollow Bear. May 4th, 1952. Damn at Blue Earth Below Cemetery. The latest installment of Minnesota Kodachromes might be titled Tadpole and the Big Dippers. November 17, 1953. FR Machine Works, 44 to 14, Astoria Boulevard, Long Island City, New York General View from Balcony. CM Johnson Client. June 1942. United States Office of Defense Transportation System of Port Control and its Traffic Channel Control. Washington, D.C. April 1930. Washington, D.C. Rush Hour, 15th Street and New York Avenue at Treasury. Hubert at Claude's Farm, April 27, 1952. Hubert Tuttle and his Dalmatian, Sally, star in this latest episode of Minnesota Kodachromes. Washington, D.C., circa 1912. Employees at Printing Presses, Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Washington, D.C. Safest driver of 1936, John W. Hunter.
English glamorous model and movie actress Pamela Green 1951. Panama Canal Excavation, 1913. The world's most celebrated shortcut marks its centennial this month. Washington, D.C., circa 1940. Caffritz, Morris, Mrs., a leader in both parties and philanthropy, Gwendolyn Caffritz was the Hungarian-born wife of real estate developer Morris Caffritz. April 1939. Salvation Army, San Francisco, California. At Minna Street, the Army forms a semicircle. Girls' Sunday school class sings between preaching to attract a crowd. Elwyn asleep April 11, 1952. This outtake from Minnesota Kodachromes was evidently deemed worth saving despite the photographer's being at the end of his role. Circa 1903. Unloading bananas at New Orleans final installment of a thrilling trilogy we've watched unfold here over the past three years. July 1939. Siler City, North Carolina. Resting place of MP. circa 1910. Hotel Halcyon and Avenue be looking north Miami, Florida. January 20th, 1921. Washington, D.C. American Forestry Association Birdhouse Contest. Grace Sally, September 18, 1951. Minnesota Kodachromes at Home in Blue Earth. Washington, D.C., 1920s. Gainer, John F., Mrs who looks like someone you would want to have at your party. July 1939. Applicate embroideries for sale on street in front of 10 cent store. Saturday afternoon. Siler City, North Carolina. nineteen oh four produce exchange new york new york george post commodity exchange on broadway completed in eighteen eighty four july nineteen thirty nine the main street chatham avenue of siler city north carolina April 1943. Baltimore, Maryland.
crowded bus carrying people to work at 8 a.m. Washington, D.C., circa 1920. Iden V. Gilmore misses. We sense a charity play in the offing and vaguely recall having plans every night that month. Picnic at Austin Vern, Ruth, Ida Pete, September 7, 1952. Philadelphia circa 1907. Broad Street North from Locust with view of City Hall. Post and Montgomery Streets, corner of Market. Another view of San Francisco after the devastating earthquake and fire of April 1906. Washington, D.C., circa 1920. Swartzball C., Mrs., will be the first to write on her wall. Dennis Hahn Dance Company founder Ruth Street Dennis and husband Ted Sean with garden party guests, bridesmaids, caterers, vestal virgins, among them the modern dance pioneers Louise Brooks and Martha Graham. Bonus photo for you a beautiful retro woman. Sybil Dunning, Austrian actress, 1968 photo shoot. This is the end of our performance. We hope you enjoyed it and appreciate our work. See you in the next performance. Have a good day.